If you ever wanted to customize the Crampy trailer, well, now's your chance. DJ Goham here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 11 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 5 new and 4 updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got 1 new and 1 update. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Man TGS Joskin Cargo Truck. This is going to be a truck for the Joskin Swap Bodies. These guys right here, this came as a mod quite a few weeks ago, but... Now we have a truck that matches. The good thing is we get the base colors with us. So you get the green, you get the yellow orange, just like on the Joskin pieces of equipment, but you're not stuck with that. You can change it up however you want. So let's jump in and check it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into vehicles, we're gonna go into trucks, and here we are going to find it. Boom, right here it is, 430 horsepower base. It's gonna hold 400 liters of fuel and go 49 miles per hour. Main color, this is gonna be your body color right here. You can change this Joskin green, Joskin yellow, and then you have every other color under the rainbow. So if you want a pink truck, go for it. But we're actually gonna stick with the Joskin colors here. Rim colors, exactly the same here as well. You get the Joskin yellow, or you could do the Joskin green. So if you don't like the way it is, you could swap it up. You could do that as well. Plus in rim color, you've got all the base colors as well. So that is really nice to see. If you wanna black this thing out, go for it. I don't know. If I don't know if that's gonna work for you, but hey, it's cool. This also turns on a dime. This thing is an amazing turning vehicle. Also in wheel brands, we have Trailerborg, Lizard, Nokian, back to Trailerborg again. No customization between those, just kinda is what it is. Front attachments, we have no attachment. We have the bull bar. Um, if you have the front lifter attachment uh, mod installed, you can put a front three point on this. That will work. The engine setup, we've got the 430 horsepower, 470 horsepower, the 510 horsepower. So we get multiple different horsepowers with this price. Um, at the max end, it's going to be around 220,000, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, just depending on what you've done with it. Now, in Joskin, if you wanted to see all the stuff that's coming with this, just simply go over into Joskin and there's three pieces of equipment that go with this. So we have the Trans Cargo, we have the Dracar Cargo, and the Ferdy Cargo. I, I think there's a couple tanks as well that go with this, but this is what we've got here right now. These will all work with them. Good thing is, we've got customization for multiple colors here as well. So if you wanna do that, go for it. I think that's really cool. And I like that we get the option to customize this however we want. Next up, we have the Bandit Cram Semi-Trailer, or as is known, the Crampy Bandit Semi-Trailer with brand new dolly that comes along with this. So this is a semi-trailer roller conveyor wagon in robust contractor design. Oh yeah, this thing is awesome. So this is basically the in-game Crampy Bandit, um, the big trailer, but this right here, is a little bit different. Actually holds less. I'm kind of curious about what's going on with that, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So what we're gonna do, let's go check it out. Um, this can be found in trailers and in dollies. However, we're gonna be going into Crampy, into the brands, because it's just a little easier to find this way. So you wanna look for Bandit Semi-Trailer. It's gonna be $92,700, and this is what you get. You're probably not used to seeing this. So with this, you get main color. We get the Crampy Red, Crampy Green, Crampy Black, and Fent Bright Green. Can you change up the rim color with that? Negative. Only gray, which is nice to have, and whiter, a little bit lighter gray, I guess. We're just gonna stick with the in-game red. In capacity, we have 41,000, 56,500, 52,200, or it should say 62,200, as you can see from the configuration versus what it actually says. And then we can add a uh, green topper or a uh, chaff topper, whatever you want to call that on top. Cover. The cover. <laughs> so we've got all that. Plus, we've got this guy right here. So it will match all of the other things that you had um, on the other three crampy trailer mod things. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hush. <laughs> then we go back and forth between all those again. Will Brands, we have Trailerborg, Michelin, and Trailerborg. We have the twin radials. We get a little bit bigger twin radial. We also get some T404s. Thank you. In Michelin, we get the cargo X-bibs, and we get some little bit bigger ones, and a little bit chunkier. So we get basically normal, wide, wider for Trailerborg and the Michelin tires. Now, also in here, we get a brand new dolly. This guy right here. This dolly matches along. So you can't change the main color. That's just going to stick with the uh, Onyx black right there. However, you can change the rim color up to be the exact same as your trailer. You can change the wheel brands, the exact same things as well here. 
which is super awesome. So now you can get a dolly to match your trailer. That's pretty cool. Your next new mod for all platforms today is the Bison Z056. This is, well, you would say a brand new harvester, but don't we have like four of these now at this point and the header's the same? We, we've got a few of these, don't we? We gotta be getting up there by now. So if we jump in, we can take a look and we see, well, here's one. <laughs> here's the one we just got. Um, there's at least, yeah, here's another one. <laughs> How many of these things do we have? Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. We have too many of these now already. All right, I think we've got enough. Let's stop. Rim color, we've got multiple different rim colors here, as you can see. Um, we also have radiator covers, different ones there. Main color, lots of different main colors here. Tarp color, a couple different ones there as well. Uh, cabins, you can change this up. You can put some uh, things around here. So if you're like me and you're prone to falling off of high heights, well, you could do that or you do a cover or all of them together. Tarplin, no or yes. So boop, just like that. You do like that. So that's gonna be your back here. There you go, just like that. Eh, it is what it is. It's a little expensive for, for just cosmetics. Small radiator cover, yes or no, right there. Again, a little expensive for what it is. Big radiator cover. There you go, right there. And then that's all your customizations for this. We do have a header for this as well. So if we want to go into tools, we want to jump into headers. And in here, we're going to find it as well. Looking for the brown one. There it is. Rim color, or, uh, main color. These are going to be exactly the same as your combine colors. Shields, you could do both. All kinds of stuff here. I mean, the customization's cool. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> just kind of getting tired of seeing the same mod over and over again. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Brussel and Laid Sweeping Brush. This is the most annoying sounding brush and the most annoying hookup brush I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this helps to clean your farms and streets. Uh, it's picked up using a pallet fork, as you can see right here. All you got to do is simply just grab it and pull through. Uh, the interesting thing is this will come off. So don't backwards do it. Yes. Let's check it out. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go into tools. We're going to go into miscellaneous because it's Brussels and laid. Boom. It's going to be right here. Design color and main color. Your design color is going to be your bristles. So if you want those to be pink, go for it. You want to be green, go for it. You know what? Let's make this a John Deere because that's not overdone. <laughs> ah, crap. Well, uh, main color, uh, black, <laughs> gray, green. <laughs> you have all normal Brussels and laid. Actually, that doesn't look terrible at all right there. So pretty cheap. Your design colors, main colors, they're all included. You don't have to pay a lot of money for those. They're free. Thousand bucks, you're good. The issue. <laughs> the issue is the sound. What in the world is that? That's probably the most annoying sound I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, yeah, let's get that fixed. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Lizard Feeding Shovel. With this shovel, you can feed animals everything that they need directly to the trough without having to dump it, which is pretty cool. It has outlets on the left side and the right side, which is super neat, or you can just dump out straight towards the front, just like you want to. Now, capacity isn't crazy. It's only 1,200 liters, but it is pretty cool. So you don't have to sit here and try and dump and get it all over the ground, I have to pick it back up. You could just use the little trough thing right here on the side. I think it's pretty cool. So where are you gonna find this? This is gonna be found in tools and it is gonna be found in front loaders. And here we are. One of the good thing about this is main color. There you go, straight through here. You can change this main color, whatever you want. All kinds of good stuff in here. We do get a couple uh, colors here. So we have the stole. Um, we also get the Stroutman. We have the green and then any color in the game with this, we're gonna go with a, uh, tan for whatever reason <laughs> design color we have Stroutman and then we go into the whites and all the kinds of good stuff here we're gonna change that to brown there you go just like that so you could change that up which I think is really cool design we have standard or no hoses so if you don't want hoses hanging around you don't have to if you want them cool go for that as well I like this I think this is cool this is unlike anything else that we really have in the game which I find very interesting and very neat so with this We've got a couple other things as well. So you could change up tip side left, right, or front. Now, if you do tip side front, you can't do anything there. But if you do tip side left or tip side right, you see, we get this very nice animation. And then we get the auger moving inside, which I think is cool. Plus, 
you could jump out while it's doing it. I mean, obviously you would, but ah, there's something cool about that. I like it. Moving into mod updates for all platforms today. First, we have the Lizard GC4M changelog update 1.0.1. Attacher joint fixed. Next update is the Man TGS 26500 6x6 truck. Changelog 1.1. Lights have been fixed and the 3D model has been optimized. Your next to last mod update for all platforms is Seasons Geo Stone Valley. Changelog 2 added Alfalfa and Rye. And the latest version of the Seasons mod is required. And your last mod update for all platforms today is Seasons Geo Amish Country USA. Changelog 1.2.1 fixed the grass growth issue. Moving two new mods for PC and Mac players today. We've only got one. It's the Universal 650. This is a small tractor. Power is very low, only 65 horsepower. Speeds 31 kilometers per hour. Price $16,000. If you need a little tractor to just get a little bit of work done, this might be the one for you. This is super cheap. Let's jump in and check it out. Let's go into vehicles and let's go into small tractors. And here we are for $16,000, 65 horsepower, 90 liters of fuel, 19 miles per hour and no customization what you see is what you get and it ain't too bad so we do get a rear uh rear link which is nice no link in the front all it is is a pin hitch and then it's a interesting looking tractor it looks like it has been beat <laughs> back and forth this thing is rough looking but it looks like somebody spray painted it so that's nice that's pretty good and your one mod update for pc and mac players today is the agri bumper changelog 2.0002 Material change hot fix. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.